Hey guys, time for some kids or ship songs. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all.
Good morning boys and girls. It is another great day here in Southern California as far as the weather. The weather is getting a little bit better. Um, I welcome you to another kids message. Uh, I'm really excited to be here today talking to you. Unfortunately uh, amid I guess uh, continued challenges with the stay-at-home order and quarantine and also social challenges in different communities uh, but also now with the wildfires earlier this week, the, our, our city was so dark and gloomy and it was because of all the smoke coming down from the wildfires in Oregon and Cal uh, Northern California, Central California. And um, it was just sad, sad to see that because we know that people are getting hurt and their homes are being lost and some uh, pets are being um, uh, lost, you know, running away from their home, trying to escape the fire. And that was very sad to see. Uh, but today is a sunny day, so we thank God for that. And today I'm going to bring you a message. I hope you're having a great morning or afternoon or what, whatever time it might be when you're watching this message. And I'm happy to bring it to you today. Um, today we're going to do a little science experiment, like I typically like to do. And we're going to talk about sin. And um, for today's discussion, this pepper is going to represent sin. Um, and I'm going to use this water and some of these other different things like this dish soap, etc. And we'll see uh, how that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of water into this bowl. And hopefully you can see that um, over here. I'm going to move that into better position and I'm going to basically sprinkle a little bit of pepper and initially I just want to show you what happens uh, when you put pepper in water you can kind of see it sprinkled across the top and the pepper floats the peppers floating on the water and if I were to take my finger and I were to stick it in the water not much happens to the pepper the pepper still just kind of sitting there floating but if I were to take this laundry soap and this is Palm Olive original, it doesn't matter if you use Dawn, it doesn't matter if you use Costco brand, whatever you want. And if you put just a little bit of soap on the tip of your finger, and you can do this at home, and you stick it into the water, it basically drives all the pepper away. And it does that because there's a lot of science going on. It has to do with something called surface tension, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about that. But basically, it pushes the uh, water to the side and the pepper goes with it and that's what you see happening there so that was just a small example uh, what I wanted to really do is, is show you a different use of all this equipment to talk about sin so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tray and I'm actually gonna pour a bunch of water across the surface of this tray kind of get it covered as much as I can. Let's move this out of the way. And hopefully you can see that pretty well. And then I'm gonna take this cross and I'm gonna put it in the center. And that cross is gonna represent, of course, uh, Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ uh, being crucified uh, on the hill of Calvary. And really in that act and in that time, when he went to the cross, he took with him all of our sins. And I know that was a long, long time ago, right? It was 2,000 years ago. But when he did that, he did that so that all of our sins, even today, and even in the future, could be forgiven. Since that the Bible teaches us, and we all know, that we are unable on our own to be completely forgiven, sinless to not sin to not lie to not have um, uh, pride and to not uh, be mean to people or have thoughts that are sinful thoughts since we're not able to do that on our own we are not seen as perfect in God's eyes and in order to go to heaven we need to have that and Jesus actually took all of our sin to the cross with him. So what I wanted to do is show a little uh, science experiment uh, 
using the pepper and the water and everything I, I just talked about and I showed you. So I'm going to make sure the surface of this is pretty well covered. And then I'm going to use this cool little thing I made with a hanger. Um, and I'll show you how I'm going to use that in a second. But if you take a bunch of pepper and you sprinkle it around this cross, and this is just an example. And let's imagine that all these little pepper flecks are the sin of the world. And they're all over the place. This represents your sin, my sin, people's in the past, people's in the future. Really, the believer, those who believe in Jesus Christ. And if that represents a sin and we were to take our soap again, and if I take that soap and I run it all around the edge of this frame, I use this frame because I want to go all the way around and cover all of this sin. And you see what happens? Is all of the sin runs to the center toward the cross. So really, boys and girls, what I wanted to emphasize today is the fact that um, when Jesus died, when Jesus was crucified, Jesus gave us a gift a huge gift. He died for our sins and he took all of our sins with him so that we could have the gift of salvation, which means that we get to go to heaven for eternity. It's probably a really hard concept to understand and hopefully this fun illustration was just a way for you to picture all the sins of the world going to the cross in a unique and different way. But let's see what the Bible actually says about um, our sins uh, being covered by the death of Jesus. And that's in 1 Peter 2, 23 and 24. And 1 Peter tells us, Christ carried our sins in his body on the cross. He did this so that we would stop living for sin and live for what is right. By his wounds, you were healed. And so, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that message. I was uh, really excited to bring it to you today. I hope you had fun with the water and the pepper and uh, the dish soap. And you too can try that at home. It's very safe and fun to do. And um, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Let's pray. Pray with me before we go. Father God, Lord, we know that the Bible tells us that there is no way that we could be seen as without sin, without the death of Jesus on the cross, and without having our faith um, put in Jesus Christ. And we know that he died so that those who believe in him can have eternal life in heaven. And I just pray that this message would somehow give the boys and girls that are listening um, just a graphic way to kind of see all of our sin running toward the cross. Even though that event happened so many years ago, that we would be able to place our trust and know that our sins will be forgiven based upon the work that Jesus did on our behalf. And I'm so thankful to be able to speak to the boys and girls today. And I just pray um, that they would have a wonderful day and stay safe. And we lift all these things up in Jesus' glorious name. Amen. Boys and girls, have a great day.